Hi there Pisces, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 8th of February. This week begins with a new moon in the most delicate, sensitive part of your horoscope. It's possible over the next month that you may find yourself wanting to just withdraw a little bit, have a bit more time for yourself, just to gently reflect on the things that are really important to you. But there is a bit of a jarring angle that comes in from the role of Mars, which for you at the moment is in a very enterprising, go-getting, expansive, worldly part of your scope, which can see you very keen to soak up lots of new knowledge and information. And perhaps you can. From this combination, it could be a lot of new psychological angles and insights into your own needs and nature and motivation is entirely possible. But what's also possible is that something immediately this week could take on a life force which actually is not necessarily going to be good for you. And you can start to worry about something that is much better put into some kind of perspective. But of course it's easy to say that for me, isn't it? Because when we are worrying about something, it does tend to completely dominate our thinking. However, right at the start of this week, there is some influences that have moved over from the week before. And one of them is the tantalizing tie between Venus and Pluto, which suggests that someone in your circle may have something of an attraction towards you. But whether they're sharing that with you in an upfront and direct way is another matter. And like I said last time, look out for those subtle body signals. But then again, perhaps you are going to have some kind of inc inclination. But even if you do, with the Sun in this location to be joined by Mercury at the end of this week, perhaps you and they will decide to build up the conversation, the dialogue, or even the attraction in quite a low key or even completely confidential way. However, it's also all true that this combination between Venus and Pluto is much more to do with a current relationship. And it's about really asking what this is about, what the balance of power is about, what do you get out of it, what do you put into it. But because of the clash with Uranus, again from last week, it's possible that there is some kind of financial uh, influence in here that does need to be discussed. And it could be a bit of a distraction. It may not just be the people side of it that you need to think of, but how this impacts on you, anything that you agree to going forwards. But there is, you know, a fantastic link between Mars and both Venus and Pluto at the start of this week, and Mars and Jupiter for the rest of it. And it suggests that if you make the right connections with the right people, you can go from strength to strength. And there could be one bond that really becomes so much more important to you as this week draws to a close. I think what comes up for me is it's not how many people we have in our world that's important, it's the quality of those people. So it's not a numbers game. I think you more than most signs appreciate that because you can have a more spiritual outlook on life, whatever your role, even if you're a captain in business and run some kind of major enterprise, your intuition, your sensitivity to situations is often your great gift. So be guided by who it feels right with around all sorts of friendships and romantic involvements rather than just go in with the liveliest, most boisterous crowd of people. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.